everyone good evening and a welcome to another live stream sorry about that little bit of delay there my microphone wasn't working all of a sudden so I was a little baffled but I think we got it resolved enough now um tonight we're gonna work on getting some power up in the steampunk cliffs area we have the thermal electrics down underneath the house that are doing just fine with fueling what we need down here. Um, these are probably full. They're getting there. So we need to address those eventually. But um, our first task is figuring out power options. I know we discussed this a bit last time with my internet being really funky. I'm not even sure that video is going to go onto YouTube. <laughs> um, but uh, there aren't a lot of fancy power generation options. And the one that I am most leaning towards is the combustion generator from Ender.io, where we would make hooch or fire water or rocket fuel to fuel our things. Um, the other options, I was gonna steer clear of environmental tech. But I forgot that there's things other than the ore miner in it. And one of those things I know I want to use is the nanobot beacon. So I will be probably getting into this. Uh, there's also solar panels with Ender IO that are pretty discreet. Um, I was going to, I thought about biodiesel with immersive engineering. If you watched my Age of Engineering playthrough with Edward, you know we had a really big biodiesel setup. I'm not interested in doing biodiesel this time and I don't think it'll work very well with my build theme for the steampunk cliffs. I really wish there was a steam option but I think that um, the wind and water that I have up there right now that you, creates very minimal RF um, is decent to get started but we're probably going to want to get into either solar panels of some sort which environmental tech has so does ender io um, or get into the combustion generator which is a pretty decent you can start at a low fuel liquid fuel and then step it up as your needs um, increase and so i might do that um, I don't recall what the uh, how big these solar panels get, <laughs> but I do know that we can stack the ones from Ender.io um, see if I can find them. We'll see, right? Ender.io, the solar panels up here, the vibrant ones produce 160 each. See, that's not bad, and I think that's right on par for the combustion generator for um, liquid fuels. Um, let's see if I can find the liquid fuels. We've got rocket fuel, which produces it just shows it in the vat it doesn't show it in oh well that's unlucky I'd have to look it up online huh well in any case <laughs> I think we're going to head up there and figure out where to place this. We need kind of a flat area that we'll be able to put a building around once I have access to the Echoglite again. Um, this is what we did uh, Wednesday. We made a crusher and I finished the Arc Furnace off stream. Obviously there's no power to these and that's why we are addressing that today. I need to get power to these machines so we can set up our ore processing. Now I know what some of you are probably saying, why are we doing like ore processing from the ground when there's mystical agriculture in the pack? I have taken the personal decision to not get my um, 
metal resources, I guess you could say, my metals and gems from mystical agriculture. I'm okay getting blocks from mystical agriculture. So stone, cobble, sand, gravel, um, those sorts of things will come from mystical agriculture. But I just decided that ores and things that you can get in veins under the ground, I'm going to run them through here. Just for fun, just something else to do, something different. And apparently I have a zombie that is underneath, underneath the factory floor here. So we need a kind of flat area to lay out where our um, power is going to be. It might be worth looking over here. Um, this might be a decent spot. Yeah, okay. So if we've got the... Oof. We've got the, the circle here, the center where the waystone is going to be. Um, we can definitely have a road coming off this way and put our power generation over here. That is worth considering. Yep, let's do it. Okay, so. Mm -hmm -hmm. We need, what are we going to need? We'll start with hooch for power. So let's start making some things. For hooch, which is this one, we're going to need crops. And I've decided that we're going to do melon for the second one. And we're going to do, what was it? Was I going to do wheat or potatoes? Probably potatoes. Yeah, potatoes and melon. And we can grow both of those in the cloches, the IE cloches. So we're going to make a couple of those. I don't know if I have all of the ingredients I need, but we're going to try to make two of these. We can make one. We need more lanterns. How about we do that? Panes. All right. Sometimes I wish this would delete faster. There we go. So we got two cloches, one that'll hold potatoes and one that'll hold melons. I'm pretty sure I have I don't have any potatoes in here, but I do have a melon that I can turn into seeds. And we have potatoes up in the farming area up there, because I don't think... Actually, potatoes would be in here because they're a um, dry good. Pantry, remember? Pantry, refrigerator, we're using things as they're needed. All right, so we have cloches. We need power and water, so we're going to need... A reservoir. Do I have enough? I need to make more fused quartz. Goodness. Alright, so let's just grab a stack of that. We're going to have to stop this. And we'll pop this stuff out. Get this in. That should go through here. Yep. All right, so make some more fused quartz. Ooh, this is getting full. Let's get this put away. And uh, how is everyone tonight? Are we uh, doing pretty good? I know it's relatively quiet for a Friday. I kind of expected that. And I'm kind of staying a little relaxed in what I'm doing because tomorrow is the really big uh, live stream and I'll be streaming for at least eight hours. So I'm trying to do something that's just not um, super involving something so that tomorrow I can do all the really fun and hype stuff. But uh, right now we're just we're gonna try to get the power set up. Let's see I'm gonna need a vat. What do I need for that? A lot of things. 
Do I have enough electrical still even? I do. I even have the furnace. So we need to make two of these. We'll just make one vat for now. This we need to make the capacitor. I don't have these um, recipes in the system yet. I have some steel. I'll need to go get it. So speaking about auto crafting, we might need... Oh, I do have chassis in here. Okay, that's good to know, but we do need to get steel anyway. We're going to need to make more crafters soon. So I need to keep remembering to do that, that I've got auto crafting possibilities. I keep forgetting that I have it. Okay, so my blast furnace here, which is still a crude blast, blast furnace because I keep using the steel that I put in here. And it looks like it needs more coal coke. Um, it's how I'm making my steel at the moment. I believe the arc furnace makes it, makes it too. So, there's that. Okay, so we're back here. Let's get the more crafting going. I might grab some cobble just to lay a floor for the building. Um, we were doing that. Okay, and so that is to make the vat. What else do we need for that? A cauldron. So do we have everything? We do. So there's the vat. The reservoir, we were waiting on this glass. So we can do the reservoir now. This will be our infinite water source. And I know we're going to need conduits. What do I've got? Probably going to want to use pressurized if I can. Just because they move things. They, they don't rely on grav. Um, these rely on gravity to move things. So we might want to do just a couple more of those. Um, item conduits. We'll grab the couple of energy conduits I have. And then we need to make the combustion generator. What do I need for that? Everything. Gotcha. Okay, so let's make a recipe for one of these. And we need to make more patterns. So we'll do that. And I need to grab a couple of pieces of dirt if I don't already have it. And we'll craft a chassis and then we need to make the electrical steel. Electrical steel, remind me again, is iron, carbon, and silicon. So we've got iron, coal, which we're going to need to turn to dust, and silicon, and this is full now. We need to put you in there. Okay. And then in here, we'll put those. We get sulfur, huh? I didn't notice that before. 
So this should just make some good, good, good. All right. Um. I Me mean, need storage drawers. Do I have? I do. Um. I might need this one for the potatoes so that I have somewhere for the poisonous potatoes to go. So there might be that. And then I need fluid tanks to put the hooch in that are that is being processed before it goes into the generator. So we'll craft another one of these just for that purpose. There's two. I think we need four. So this definitely needs upgrades. All right, what else do we need here? We just need one more fluid tank, really? Bars, let's craft those. I just click cancel instead of start. <laughs> All right. That should be everything. It is fantastic. Okay. I I I could be completely wrong. Oh, we need the reservoir that I didn't. Oh, yeah, it is. It's in my inventory. Okay, good. So we just need to grab some water. Um I know I need two, but I don't have two buckets on me. Do I have another bucket in here? I do. Let's just grab one of those. And head back up there. And right here is where we'll set up our power system. Um, yeah, that ought to work really nice. I think should find out if I have a... I don't. I was looking for a better builder's wand. Um, is there a stone version? Just out of silly question. There is five blocks. It, it still will make things faster. Um, oh, I don't... I don't need that. I've got wood on me. Let's get some sticks. And... Okay, soapstone cobble it is. Don't need you. Alright. Let's see. There. Let's do it. Three. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight. And that's it for a couple. Let's grab some more. Something I did between streams here is I set up this building for the beginnings of a cobble works. So I have I have these running. And we just need eight of these to get some more cobble. All right. Not the same cobble type, of course. Oh yeah, this is looking good. <laughs> uh, let's get some torches on here so we can see what we're doing in the dark. Because, yeah, I like to live dangerously. 
All right. So if we did the row of combustion generators, let's say this is the entrance. Better yet, it might be nice to have the entrance on the side here. Um, put it along here. We don't have a lot of this set up yet. Maybe we should just make it nice and close together. Because that makes sense, right? So we put this one and this one. We really shouldn't put them next to each other. We need to have that gap. And water goes in the back. And power goes in the top. And then... Because item conduits don't register as an inventory, you have to put an inventory on them. We bag, yes please. So that is why we're gonna do that one and that one. And so this will be potatoes. And this will be a melon. Oh, I need to turn it into seeds. What was I thinking? Melon seeds. There we go. And then we need to get the actual water and power over here. Um, that will put... Might be worth just sticking right here. We'll put the pressurized conduit here and here. Why are you hooked up to there? Why was I thinking pressurized water conduit? I need item conduits there, don't I? And this needs to be disabled. And this one needs to be disabled. Alright. Where are you? down there. You'll come up here eventually. Okay. Um, I don't believe I have... Oh, I do have a Yetta wrench. How do you get the... Um, that's not what I want. How do you get the access to the Hi, Owen! Okay, so you right click, left click, shift right click breaks it because it's shifting. I've seen um, Direwolf do it all the time where he just clicks on it and he gets to choose which connection he's going to configure. Shift left click. Aha! Thank you. This is extract, always active. And get rid of you and then this is insert this is extract always active insert and this one needs to be turned off all right and then you need water as well so we need to set up the water which I will probably put underneath and there's space for me to kind of walk under here, so... Hello there, Mr. Zombie. Nice to see you. What did you give me? I have no clue. Maybe it's the Minicio. Alright, and then... Do that and in out auto extract. Auto extract. That should be filling those up as well. Alright, so this is full. 
These need power, so we're going to give it a jump boost, probably, I hope. Um, so we'll run the output from the vat. Straight into it. For now, we just need basic power. Does it auto... Can I auto push the output up here? Looks like I can. It's into there. And then I think this needs water as well. That might be a little... That over there. Wrench it to connect. Hooch and water should mix, right? All right, let's go grab some melon and potatoes. Let's see if we can get that figured out. Melon, potatoes, back to the cliffs. And if we do a melon and potato, this should... Does it need power too? Oh, okay, so we need to get some starter power to jumpstart this. Um, I can do that. Over here. Did I get everything? I did, okay. All right, so we've got starter power. So now this should start working and sending the hooch up here. Eventually, this will be self-sustaining. So I don't know how long it takes to turn this into hooch. I like how it visually changes color in here. Oh, it just did it. So this says generating 60 RF a tick. I do not believe these cloches require 60 RF a tick um, to run. But we'll find out. Looks okay. Um, all right, so there's already melons. Oh, this is harvesting whole melons. We're going to need to use a compacting drawer. And I need to figure out why it's not inserting the potatoes. Um, up. Extract, always active. Oh, there it goes. So potatoes and poisonous potatoes are just fine going in there, but this is a problem. So what we need to do is go get a compacting drawer and break that up. I might already have one or at least a recipe for one. All right. So, goodbye you. You here instead. And I might need a filter for this. The garden closure, that's not what I want. I want, oops. I did right click. Learning new things all the time, right? 
shift left click we want compacting drawer to be extract always active and you to be insert it appears to be working yes it is look at that okay we've already starting to get a decent amount in here that's very good and we are probably not using that power anymore um, it is going up, so we do not need this hooked up anymore. There, anyway. We are going to need to make a whole new power bank um, for this, because this is now self-sustaining. Let's put this back over here, where I have the little water mill, and we can hook this back up. Um, you there we go and that goes over here to these cloches that I set up in here earlier so they're full most likely or are just about so so they won't be using power here pretty soon um, but yeah this will be the power that I can expand on eventually it does look like potatoes are growing a little, we're having a little less than production for potatoes. I can't get into that looking into the, there we go. So we have 48 and 64 in the short time that it's been running. Nope, 49. See, this is amazing. We'll be fine. No worries at all. Nope, nope. We will want to now make um, a giant battery bank to, to store this energy that's going to be made in here. <gasps> oh my goodness, excuse me. To do that, I would like to get to a vibrant capacitor banks as soon as possible. And we need a lot of things in order for that to happen. See, so currently I'm just doing the basic ones, and I don't think you can easily upgrade these um, in place. I don't know if they work just like the conduits, where if you click a reg uh, basic one with a higher tier one, it swaps it out <laughs> like they do for the conduits. I don't know. I do know there's a recipe for taking a basic one using up the old ones in a next tier. But we need to make energetic alloy in order to make the second tier. And we need to be able to make vibrant alloy and vibrant crystals in order to make the third tier. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What do we have in here I can get rid of? Let's put our apple in here. I could probably put seeds in here because they're used for seed seed soup, I think it's called. All right, this is currently our only way of making um, of ore processing right now until we have the other ore processing online. So that is something. Let's open our rare loot bag. Okay. That's fine. And I have a lot of stuff that this is having to crank through. But I also need to use this. don't know what I should do about that. Should I make another one? Shouldn't be that difficult to make another alloy smelter. What do I need for it? Chassis and the cauldron. And we already have a crafting recipe for a chassis, so let's get
get going on that. I clicked two. Um, alloy smelter. There we go. And we can just put it right here. And so now we can use this one for making energetic, which is gold. Ooh, let's take those out and put those in for processing. And redstone. Is it glowstone too? Ooh, we need to go grab some glowstone. Let's put that in there. Those two in there. Um, let's put tuck the conduits away. Uh, if you notice, I'm rocking a gold shovel because I have misplaced. <laughs> I've misplaced my uh, other shovel. Let's see here. If I use my hammer, it'll silk touch it, and it'll be a lot nicer for me. So let's head to the net. Oh. Let's recharge our jetpack first. And we'll head to the nether. Okay. Last time I was here, I almost died to a ghast. So let's hope that it doesn't happen again. Alright. Let things load in. And there's some glowstone right there. Things are a little stuttery still. Okay. Let's see. Is there a place I can perch? Yes. All right. I should probably turn my hover mode on for this. Make it a lot easier. Um, uh, this is above a lot of lava. I would really prefer not to do that just because I don't have any way of removing the lava at this point. Like this little bit. Uh, thirty five. There's some diamond ore in here. That's kind of cool. Let's keep going until we have a stack. Oh, that looks good right there. Let's put the fire out that's in here. That won't help anyone. Almost stack. What's under here? Anything? No. Out we go. Let's see if we can find any more good, easy to capture veins of uh, glowstone without getting killed by blazes. That's right against the ceiling. We might be lucky if I don't glitch through the ceiling. Alright, so let's head 
down. We that definitely got us to a stack, so we could head home now. All right. Home we go. Gosh, that feels super cheaty. But hey, it's modded. But yeah, all right. We'll pop the glowstone in. I thought I had a compacting drawer for glowstone. I don't. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know what these are going to be, so glowstone it is. <laughs> so let's grab a half a stack and put that in here. There we go. So we've got a we're making the energetic alloy so that we can make the second tier capacitors, the little sorry, the little plugs, and then to make the actual power banks. Grab my toolbox. I really don't know where that shovel went. It's kind of troubling me. I, I hope it shows up eventually. Okay, so you're not stopped. You're just really slow. Maybe our first uh, double capacitor should be to go in that alloy smelter we're currently using. Actually, let's grab the patterns that we made and we'll do the capacitor as a recipe. This one. And I might have enough space in this crafter. If not, we we'll need to make another one. I have one more slot after this. Uh, the coal as a dust, that's going to be something I don't have a lot of. And with this backed up. Hmm. Let's pull some of this stuff out and put it in here. Lead. The gold back in there. Silver, okay, and sulfur can go in here. All right. Capacitors, what do we need to make four of these? We need five more energetic alloy and then we're good to go, okay. All right, apparently that completed a quest, yay. And this should be done with one more. Alright, can we do the capacitors now? Oh, I need one. Capacitors. Four of them. Start. Alright, take two of these out. And then the other two will be used to make. Oh, I need four for this. Uh, let's make two more. Probably gonna need a bit more of this though. Yeah. Go, go, go. Let's make you go. Let's make this go. And this go. And then... Yes. Slowly but surely, we're making progress so that we can do a whole bunch of building, because that's really the goal with this world, 
I want to do building. Build, build, build. I want to build all the things. Recipe. How do... There we go. Four more energetic alloy and some coal dust, which is here. All right. Three more. I'm just so scatterbrained. Three. Speed it up, man. Go faster. I need some of those magic capacitors. I haven't done a whole lot of loot uh, raiding. Um, might need to head back to that roguelike dungeon and see if there's anything in there. You never know, right? Craft to start. Um, okay, so there's the three. We'll take you back out so that we can make one of these. Great. Alright, so that's a start. That's a start for what we're gonna have up here. And I'm really considering having the capacitor bank be a part of the walls. <laughs> like, you know how these, this is stuck out and then in, out and in, sort of like a uh, support structure. I'm considering having these be the capacitor banks, which is actually a whole wall all the way around, and then having support structure on the outside of that, which means this whole side here could be capacitor banks. Now, I do have the problem right now if I don't have my energy conduits with me. So let's just trunk you up there. Is that 600 RF a tick? Well. Okay, now it's dropping down. <laughs> See, this is making 60. And this is full. This is not full. But it's slowly getting a buffer. So we might ultimately have to do a bunch of vats and then a bunch of fluid tanks and then a row of combustion generators. So right now this is making me happy. And this is filling up at 24 RF a tick. Um, so that's how much it is after it fuels two garden cloches and a vat. That's the surplus. Okay. I need, in order to do what the, the power needs for this, I need a lot. Um, this needs 6400 to run at max speed, or 64,000? I don't know what it needs for each bit, and this has a storage buffer of 32,000. Um, I know the more power you give the furnace, the faster it goes. So there is that. Um, <laughs> so, that would mean we probably want to set up Maybe we should start with eight combustion generators and find out how many, by, by making all the combustion generators, finding out how much, how many vats I need to make to compensate for that. <clears throat> so if we were to do eight of those, what do I need to get started crafting? We already have one, so essentially we're doing seven. Seven combustion generators need 
21 electrical steel, 14 fluid tanks, 7 pistons, 14 gears, 7 machine chassis. We should have recipes for some of this. Let's, we've got one, so let's make six. What do we need? Steel. Gotcha. We're going to need to go back up there because that's where I have the steel currently. Um, uh, let's see. I changed the quest menu. I did. Okay. What did we get? Um, modern machinery? Yep. Okay. So we've got energetic ally. We get three more. RF conduits. We get more of those. Pressurized conduits. Fused quartz. Alright. So we've got quite a bit more little bits of stuff. Um, let's grab some more of this and more of this and head back up to our crude blast furnace that I really need to upgrade but I keep cons using the steel. And uh, go from there. Alright! Oh, see? That needs cold coke. And you've got two Let's turn this into blocks. Turn this into torches so we don't have excess in our inventory. And it looks like this is full. So we need to make another barrel. Um, because I don't think there's any kind of a liquid nullifier. Well, there is. Here it is. Woohoo! We're gonna do this one. Takes an ender pearl. I hate that. Definitely going to do that though. Um, I'm so glad I looked for that. Let's go get that done because I don't need more than two, more than two barrels of creosote ever. I don't think even if I built with treated wood. Fluid nullifier get. Alright. Go back up there. Yeah. And let's just do that. So that is empty. That is getting empty. Good, good. All right. Let's pop this out. We can stack it over here with the other one. And eventually I'll want to put Echoglite there, but this ought to work just fine for getting the creosote out of here so that we can make more coal coke. I hadn't paid attention to that why why that was slowing down. Got 30 of that. Alright. Well, it's time to feed the cats. Alright folks, I'm going to take my quick five minute break and feed the kitty cats. I will be right back, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 